Kinda sucks to hit a place like this, but go back inside because you don't want to get wet. Come on, buddy. Let's make some food. raining outside. I ended up buying myself a plastic flipper or spatula. What's it called? <laughs> anyway, I ended up buying myself a plastic one. Um, I had a wood one before, but it didn't really have a pointy end on it. And it was kind of like hard to flip. You try to flip an egg and you'd end up pushing the egg instead of getting, getting the flipper underneath it. The metal one, and the metal one really sucks, especially when you're using something like this one's ceramic. You don't want to use metal on that because you'll scratch it. All right, so just gonna make up some ground hamburger here. Simple lunch, a spinach tortilla, some jalapeno ranch, and this amazing stuff. Heartbeat Hot Sauce from Thunder Bay, Ontario. A subscriber sent me this one. Um, I haven't had this one yet. I just opened the bottle. This is Pineapple Habanero. I'll pack as much of this on here as we can. As long as we can roll it somewhat, we're good, right? Oh, yeah. I like it spicy, baby. He said, Dad, I thought you said you were going to feed me. Me first. I'm the leader of the pack, bro. <laughs> He's like, no, you're not, Dad. That looks impressively delicious. I just made a second one. This time I used um, another hot sauce from them called Scorpion. And it's a bit warmer. Look at that. Hey, you can't have this. This is hot. It'll burn your butt. It'll burn your butt. Gross, bro. Gross. He's like, Dad, can I have another fish? Another fish? Another fishy? Can you sit down? Sit. Hold on. Hold on. Gross. Cruz is eating sardines. Gross. Gross. No! The subscriber give me some tea in the mail. So we're gonna try it. This one is licorice spice herbal tea. No thanks. That was bad. <laughs> that was so gross. I don't know what else to do today, buddy. Give me, give me little snuggles. There you go, buddy. You won't get cut
3.46 p.m. It's pretty sad because it being winter means the sun's gonna go down soon and it'll be dark outside. Ah, man up, bro. I got this from a uh, store with my daughter when we were on a visit once. <laughs> kind of looks like Mr. Cruzy. I haven't uh, been through the underside of here in a while. It's kind of a, like a crazy, crazy catch-all area of, it's not quite a junk drawer because there's a rhyme and reason to what I keep under here. Um, this side is just um, usually extra reading glasses and stuff. And this is toiletries and uh, a medicine cabinet. But I haven't taken things out of here in a very long time, so we're gonna do that. This is all just what was in one of the sides here. So there's three compartments in the top there. And uh, yeah, someone gave me this muscle and joint stuff from a long time ago. Musher's secret for Cruz's feet when it's super cold outside. Um, another subscriber sent me this too. It's amazing. This is a uh, wrinkle paste, which he doesn't really use anymore now that he's on raw dog food. So before with um, dry kibble, he would have a pH problem in his body and he would get really gross yeasty stuff in his nose. And you put this in there and it balances out the pH. Well, he doesn't really use that anymore, but we're going to keep it anyway, just in case. This one is all hair trimmers and extra razor blades. Razor. Get that. These, I don't need these. I never use these kind of things. Look at these things. Damn, right? It's a wood watch. I have three of them. These are incredibly beautiful, aren't they? When I first got my YouTube channel, these were one of the first companies that ever started to send me things and say, hey, can you put them on your channel? I worked with them three times and got three amazing all wood watches. Ah, oh, these are crazy cool. And you can see through backs and stuff. You see that? Right? <laughs> awesome. So we're just keeping them all in one one thing. Do I wear them? Eh, once in a while. They're just too beautiful to let go of. And also in here I keep um, just some of the bracelets. I go through phases sometimes. I really enjoy to wear them, mostly in the summertime. Just some bracelets that I've acquired along the way on my travels there. I think that's all that really needs to go into this one. This basket would be my medicine cabinet. So we got band-aids, some polysporin, penitin. Anybody know what that is? That chrome, why do you have penitin? This is um, diaper cream actually, or something like that. You used to use it for crews underneath his nose before I discovered that wrinkle cream stuff. Um, I don't think I'm really gonna need this. We're gonna throw this out. Activated charcoal, which is really good for me and or the dog as well if he ever gets an upset tummy. 
um, or ingest something that I think is toxic. The arc, um, activated charcoal is supposed to be really good for, for that in both humans and dogs. And in here, we're gonna put this, uh, this joint mist for, for my back. And there's definitely lots of deodorant in there because I don't wanna smell bad. I feel good that I went through there. We got rid of a few things and cleaned it up a little bit. That felt nice. Now onto this one. This little container appears to be the catch-all miscellaneous. I haven't seen half this stuff in a long time. Um, but I also have a tick key. A uh, good thing to keep in hand just in case you encounter a tick. Get some of this stuff I don't even think I would need. What do I need this for? Inside here is a blood pressure machine. Um, this is my medical clinic. <laughs> a good idea once in a while just to check on yourself you know I don't know I was out there on the road traveling two years ago and I was like you know maybe having this is a good idea to check on my stress levels so far it's been pretty good my it's my it's my walking clinic is that what you want to call it I don't go to the doctor so that's the closest thing I'm gonna get and that's it for in there I don't know why I'm doing this not like you guys care and that's my cutting board uh, some bigger Vancy Van Lip stickers and some paperwork for my mom's for my mom's death and I have a couple of radios here. I got them from Amazon, nothing fancy. But they've been in my drawer for a while, so we're gonna, we're gonna charge them up. Always comes in handy to have these charged just in case a friend happens to bump into you out here and you go bombing around the backcountry together. It's pretty cool to have radios. That way both you guys can kind of chat with each other. This guy enjoying a rainy day. Hey. He's so sweet. Found a stack of wires up there, which I'm gonna put into my wire container. GoPro parts. Cables. That's the cable. Are these all gonna fit in here? It's always good to keep a cable container. Some of these are for devices that I don't even own anymore. But you never know when you're out filming somewhere and somebody needs a cable for a weird device. Or you need to, to MacGyver something. It's good to have extras. And I have a dash camera. I forgot to remount this after we replaced my front window um, when we were in Calgary. Yeah, we should mount this bad boy. I'm not sure where to mount this thing. So I took my mirror that was up there, it's gone. I took that off, I could mount it up there. Or is it a thing to put it down low? I wonder if that would block my view. Kinda looks the same no matter where you put it. Like if you look at the tree in front of me on the thing, it's the same no matter where I put it. So is putting it way down here a thing? Because I have to tip it quite a ways down before it gets the hood of my vehicle and my windshield wipers. I'm going to mount it right there. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm going to put it. I'm not going to mount it today because my window is a bit foggy and super cold. I'll wait for a dry day, but I'm going to mount it right down there. That way it's out of sight. Nice to see you awake, bro. I slept most of the afternoon. Oh, this jacket's gotta go to the wash. It smells like fire.
don't think we're alone out here. No, we're not. There's somebody camped out just down the way here too. I can hear a generator. The rocks are slippery. Yeah, there's a giant motorhome right there. Like a bus. It is so awesome out here. And there's my home all lit up over there. For those of you that have been around my channel for a while, there used to be a, a swing here, right here. I remember coming, driving through here and there's a rope right there. You can see the rope. There used to be a little swing here with a board on the bottom. I, I remember swinging on it. So yeah, this is another one of those free provincial campsites. Oh, I love those perimeter lights on my van. Come on now. It's just a great way to light up the camp. Now those are rigid scene lights. I think I have them listed on my website. They do such a good job of just lighting up the immediate area around. And I got three of them on this side. I have one in the middle here that I can switch on independently of all the other ones. Kersey, I came out here so you could go pee. He's like, I'm not going out there, Dad. I see how wet you are. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Cruzy. Come on, buddy. He is not a stupid dog. He's like, hell no, Dad. I see your hands look cold and you look wet. Look at that look on his face. Like, I am not going out there. I gotta drag you out, I know. You're not gonna be happy. Come on, come on, let's go. He's like, but dad, this is puppy abuse. Come on. He's like, nah, this sucks. Come on, buddy. It's all wet. Cruzy's having dinner. But after all this time that went by, it's only 5.30 p.m. That's it. <laughs> it's dark outside and it's only 5.30. Come on. Oh. 
Uh, some food up for Cruzy tomorrow. And I accidentally left two beers in the freezer. They are rock solid. Are we done dragging them through our madness today? Are we done dragging them through our crazy days? Hey, he's like, it wasn't crazy, Dad. I slept and you'd organize things in drawers. I know. I've gotten lame in my old age, buddy. On days like today, when it's raining outside, the snow has you restricted on how far you can go. For me, that's the fun factor, is bombing around the backcountry and exploring. That's what I want to do. I don't want to sit here inside of my van. That is not enjoyable for me. But when you do get in scenarios like that, it is so key to keep this thing busy. No matter what you're doing. I don't care if you're a drawer or you're the kind of person that just wants to spend um, a couple of hours organizing a few drawers in the van. Whatever it is, you got to keep this thing occupied or those days could get very long and loneliness could kick in. I actually had a pretty decent day today, even though I didn't get to do what I set out to do. Thanks for watching, everybody. And obviously, I'll see you guys on the next one. Cruzy's already done for the night. He's like, I'm tapping out, Dad. I had a big day. <laughs> you had a big day. Bro, you slept all day, buddy. You slept all day. All day. He's a good heart being cute. <laughs> hey, look at you. You're a bundle of cuteness. I got a feeling this is a bad idea. Ooh. I feel I feel liquid. Let's go upside down. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking we may be able to crack a beer maybe. Huh? That's blowing right on the can. It's either gonna just Hmm. Like that's hot. It's probably a bad idea. Ah! I was scared that it's just gonna go boom! Maybe we'll uh because the heater vents here blowing right on it, and that's pretty hot. You should roll it like a hot dog. I'm gonna make sure it cooks evenly on all sides. <laughs> ah! I just want a beer, it's all. I thought I'd throw them in the freezer for a little bit. I forgot, they were in there all day. Here goes nothing. This is probably gonna explode. I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just keeps filling. Look at it. Um, ah, ah. Oh, it's starting to make fuzzy noises. Uh oh. Oh, it's frozen. Oh, and it's just expanding. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. You saw? You saw? Good, huh? Okay, let's try. Oh, that's better. Oh, looks like we're doing all right. Oh, that works.